Okay, here's a derivative problem that involves exponents and radicals, and um, also a quotient. And we're, we're given f of x is 2 times the cube root of x to the fourth minus the sixth root of x divided by the fifth root of x. And we're told to find f prime, or find the derivative. Now when we look at this, we immediately see, ah, a quotient. One thing divided by another, so I could use the quotient rule. So I'm going to have to do the the bottom times the derivative of the top, that's going to be kind of hard, uh, minus the top times the derivative of the bottom, and then put all of that over the denominator squared, and then try to simplify that. Um, that's going to be a real mess to try to simplify. I can actually make this problem a lot easier by manipulating the original function some first. I'm going to rewrite the function, and I'm going to rewrite all of these radicals in exponential form. So I'm going to say f of x is equal to this. 2 times x to the 4 thirds because this 4 here is an exponent and the cubed root means a denominator of 3 in the exponent. So that's 2 times x to the 4 thirds minus the 6th root of x here is x to the power of 1 sixth and then instead of dividing by the 5th root of x I'm going to multiply the whole thing by the reciprocal of that. And that, that fifth root of x down here is x to the one-fifth. So instead of dividing by x to the one-fifth, I'll multiply by x to the negative one-fifth. So this is my new function. And now you think, okay, well now it's a product. I have this times this. Maybe I could use the product rule. But that's still a bit of a pain to do. So what I'm going to do is distribute this x to the negative one-fifth. I'm going to multiply it by the first term and by the second term and I'll get a, a simple power function that I can differentiate pretty easily with the power rule. So let's distribute here. The f of x, I, I still haven't started taking a derivative. This is f of x, not f prime over here. f of x is going to be 2 times x to the 4 thirds times x to the negative 1 fifth and then I'll have minus x to the one-sixth times x to the negative one-fifth. Now these can be combined into a single x and so can these. Okay, over here in this first term, if I do, if I say f of x, and this is still the function, not the derivative, 2 x to the four-thirds times x to the negative one-fifth, if I multiply these two exponents together with the same base, I have to add the exponents. So I need to add 4 thirds and negative 1 fifth. And that's going to be, let's see, 4 thirds is uh, 20 fifteenths and negative 3 fifteenths. That's going to give me 17 fifteenths. Okay, so this is 2 times x to the power of 17 over 15. Then I have minus, and then I need to add the one-sixth and the negative one-fifth. Okay, let's do that. One-sixth, we'll just say one-sixth minus one-fifth. Well, one-sixth is five-thirtieths minus, minus six-thirtieths is negative one-thirtieth. So this is x to the negative 1 over 30. And now I can take the derivative. This is just a power function and so is this. So taking the derivative of that will be a lot easier than doing the quotient rule for this or even the power rule for this. So let's take the derivative now. f primed of x is going to be 2, my constant multiplier stays out front, then times 17 fifteenths this exponent just comes out front as a multiplier here, times x to the power of this minus 1. And 17 fifteenths minus 1 is just 2 fifteenths. So it's 2 fifteenths there. And then minus, and then I do the power rule right here. I get negative 1 thirtieth times x to the power of this minus 1. 
So negative 1 30th minus 1 is going to be negative 31 over 30. And then I'll just simplify this one last step. I'll just get a single number there and uh, take care of these negative signs right here. So my final answer is going to be 34 over 15 x to the power of 2 fifteenths plus 1 30th x to the negative 31 thirtieths. And that's the derivative of my original function. And that looks um, like kind of a, a messy, difficult, complicated answer. But that's the, the simplest answer, or the simplest way to write it. And that's a whole lot easier way to get there than trying to go straight to the quotient rule or the product rule.